to do a video today focused solely on hair and retaining length. I've gotten a lot of questions about how I retain length as a natural or just in general for any any type of hair. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I take care of my hair so that I can get maximum growth. So if you want to learn my secrets to retaining length, then stay tuned. Okay, I just got done flat ironing my hair, so I thought this would be a great time to talk about length and retaining length. Um, just to give you an update, this is my current length. I'm really just going to make this really quick and sweet and to the point. The first way that I'm able to retain length and the most important to me, the most crucial, the most influential, um, factor in me retaining length is keeping my ends trim. That's the number one thing for me. I actually um, like to trim my ends or I should say I dust my ends once a month or every time I flat iron and I found that this really really helps keep my hair healthy and helps it grow. I also like to give myself a thorough trim every four months and I found that that helps it even more. It keeps my hair looking nice and it also keeps the ends from breaking off. Trimming your hair is very, very important. It keeps your ends healthy, it keeps your hair from breaking off, and it helps your hair grow. And I shouldn't say that it helps your hair grow because a lot of people when they hear that think, well, trimming the ends of your hair doesn't help your hair grow because your hair grows from your scalp. I should say that it helps you retain length, helps you retain length because it keeps your ends from breaking off, thus you're able to retain all the hair that you grow. The second way that I'm able to retain length is by reducing the amount of heat I put in my hair. I only flat iron my hair once a month and sometimes more than that. And in the summertime, I don't even flat iron my hair at all hardly. I think last summer, I flat ironed my hair maybe once. And I found that at the end of the summer, my hair was much healthier, much fuller, much thicker, and longer. So reducing the amount of heat that I put in my hair is very influential in me retaining my length. The third way that I retain my length is by shampooing my scalp instead of my ends. A lot of people don't even use shampoo anymore or they use sulfate-free shampoos because it can be drying to your hair, which in turn can make it dry and brittle and break off. So what I do is when I shampoo my hair, I just shampoo the scalp and I let the shampoo wash down to my ends. And this keeps me from just lathering up the ends and irritating and drying out my ends and making them brittle and, and break off. The last way that I retain length is by keeping my ends protected from any harsh elements. For example, if I go out in the cold and it's snowy and windy, I'll tuck my hair into my jacket or if I'm working out, I'll pull my hair up so that it's not brushing against my back or that it's not getting um, sweat on it. In the summertime, I like to protect my hair by wearing it in a bun so it won't get singed by the heat. So anytime my hair is exposed to harsh elements, I do what I can to protect my ends, especially from the harsh conditions. Oh, a major way that I retain length is by following a low manipulation regimen. Because my hair is natural and very thick and very curly, it gets knotted and tangled easily. So I like to keep my hair straight or I like to keep it in a style where I won't be manipulating it all the time. I like to keep it braided up a lot and sometimes I wear a wig or I'll wear um, just different pieces of hair to keep from messing with my hair so much. Okay, so that's pretty much in a nutshell the main ways that I retain my length. I'm always changing up my, um, my hair routine and my products and things like that. So if any of this changes, I'll be sure to let you know. Um, if you have any questions or any comments or concerns, please comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next video. Talk to you guys later.